Hello, civil engineers. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, we will find uh, the total costing for the plaster, putty and painting. Individually, we had done, isn't it? Now, uh, sometimes we require the cost in uh, for cost for uh, plastering, painting and putty. So that is why I've created a table like this. Again, you can create an Excel sheet like this. I'll ex I won't explain you how it has to be done, but still I'll ex uh, tell you how it has to be done. Okay. So what I've done is I've created a small shape like this that you can create from the insert page. You know how it has to be done. Go to the illustrations, go to the shape and just take this one and you can put it something like this. Okay. And then uh, I have written five here and I've written four here. How can you make this everything uh, white color? So that is very simple. Uh, I'll show you here how it can be done. See, for example, uh, if it is something like this, you select this entire sheet like this, okay? And then you come here, there's one option called as white color. If you make it white, then you can write in this way, whatever you can write, okay? Got it. If you don't want, then you can just select on this again and then change the color. I mean, uh, I think no fill. Yeah. If you do no fill, it will come back, okay? Same thing, I've done it here. Same thing, I've done it here. That is why you can see everywhere it is white color. Okay, this much is understood. Then I've written five and written four here. Okay, this is a wall, what, whatever it may be. It may be wall or whatever. So this length is five meter. This is four meter. Okay, good. Now I've written what will be the thickness of this plastering. The thickness of the plastering will be 12 mm. Okay, thickness for plastering it is. And here I've written the thickness for the putty. So two different uh, rows I've created. Okay, you also do the same thing. And here I have mentioned the ratio like 1 is to 4. If I change the ratio, everything will change here. For example, now it is 1 is to 4, isn't it? So for a ratio of 1 is to 4 and for thickness of 12 mm, how much cement bag is required and how much sand is required? I have done it here. Okay. Got it? Got? So how it has to be done? This already you know, right? This is my plastering quantity for 1 cubic meter. It is 8.35 and 40.68, which I already done in my previous lecture. Okay. You know how it has to be done. Simple for cement, what you do? 1.44 I have taken. Okay. One uh, you can take 1.33 also, but here I have taken 1.44 divided by this ratio. That is one 1.44 divided by this ratio. One uh, plus four. Close the bracket. Then you multiply this by uh, what I have done. Yeah, I think. Yeah. This I have multiplied by G153. G153. Okay. Multiply by uh, this one you are supposed to do. And then if you divide it, divide this by 0 0.0345, you'll get the cement quantity. Okay. This, you know how it has to be done. And for sand also, same thing. 1.44 divided by this ratio, 1 plus 4 you have to add. Then you multiply by the sand ratio and then uh, multiply by sand ratio and then multiply by 35.31, you'll get the sand in CFT. Okay. Understood, right? Now, if I change instead of 1 is to 4, if I make this as 1 is to 6, uh, according to that, my cement and sand will change. This is for 1 cubic meter. Okay. Fine. This is my uh, cement and sand required for one cubic meter of one is to six. If you want for one is to five, this much one is to five, one is to six. Yeah, change is happening. One is to five, change is happening. One is to four, change is happening. Got it? No, this much you can do. Great. Already I've explained you. Now here I've written thickness and this thing and uh, putty and uh, thickness of putty also I've written. Okay. Yeah. Now what I'll do, I'll find the total volume. So five meter is the length of my wall and four meter is the width of my wall. Okay, it can be or even let us say four meter is the width of my wall and five meter is the height of my wall. I want just the area. So five into four is 20, but I want the thickness of the wall. The thickness of the wall I've written 12 mm. So volume what I've done. So for the volume. Yeah, yeah. For the volume what I've done, I'll do it here. Volume. Okay. So volume will be five multiplied by four multiplied by this is 12 mm, but I want in meter. No. So what I'll do, I can write 0 0.012. So this is the total volume so it is 0 0.24 cubic meter so volume i have written 0 0.24 cubic meter okay so this is a total volume of the wall what i have not the motor volume it is it is a total volume okay okay you can say it motor volume also uh, because 5 into 4 yeah i'm multiplying it by 12 no so it's a motor volume only so 0 0.24 cubic meter of the mortar is required okay now according to that how much cement sand and putty is required what i have done simple for one cubic meter if 8.35 bags is required and sand 40.68 cubic meter is, uh, CFT is required for 0 0.24 what I have done 0 0.24 multiply by 8.35 I'll get two bags of cement and sand will be 0 0.24 into 40.68 I'll get 9.7 uh, 9.763 CFT of the sand is required if you don't want to do in this way again you can apply the same formula like if it was 0 0.24 is a motor volume what I have isn't it 
So what I can do is I'll write plus 1.44. Okay. Uh, then this I'm going to multiply by 0 0.24. Okay. This I'll divide it by the total ratio. The total ratio is 1 plus 4. Okay. And close the bracket. Then I'll multiply this by 1. 1 in the sense uh, cement volume. Okay. Then this I'll divide. This thing I'll divide by 0 0.034. Okay, or 0 0.0347 also I can do. So it will come out to be 2, no? So same answer I got. 2 cement bag is required. Similarly, you do it for the sand also. That also can be done. But the best way is you calculate and keep the cement and sand bag for 1 cubic meter. And then whatever cubic meter you are getting, mortar volume you are getting, that you just multiply 0 0.24 into 8.35 and 0 0.24 into 40.68. You will get the cement and sand quantity. Finish. This already you know. Now come to the putti. Putti how you will do? Very simple for putti. Putti, I want the volume and this volume if I multiply by 850, I'll get the uh, putti in kg. So if you want, I'll do it here. So again, the length of the wall is 5 meter. I'll multiply by 4. Then I'll multiply this by thickness. The wall, this putti thickness is 3 mm. So this is 3 mm. I want in meter. So it will be 0 0.003. Okay. So this is the total volume of the wall putty that is required but i want it in kg no so we know that whatever volume i get if i multiply this by 850 because that is a density of wall putty so how much i'm getting 51 kg so here 51 kg is coming got it so in this way i've done all these things good this much you can do now come to the costing part so costing i want cement cost i want sand cost i want putty and paint so paint already had done it here isn't it paint i got 8.33 liters so that is the reason I'm writing the same thing here. Okay. So let us say the cost of the cement is 400 rupees per bag, which is $5. The cost of the sand is 42 rupees per CFT, which is $0.53. Putti is 35 rupees uh, per kg. Okay. And now it is 70 sometime. So what I'll do is I'll put 70. It depends. Okay. I'll take 70 because previous time, previous case, I told uh, per kg it is 70 rupees. So I'll put 70. Okay. So it is $0.88. And paint I'll consider 350 rupees per liter. So it is $4.38. Okay. Now accordingly, I'll find the cost of it. How we'll find 400 rupees is a uh, bag is a rate of the cement bag per bag. 400 into number of bag is 2. So it will be 800 rupees. Okay. 42 rupees per CFT it is. So 42 into 9.73 will give me 410 rupees. Putti is uh, 70 rupees per kg. Total I want 51 kg. So 70 into 51 I'll do. Okay. 3570 rupees. Okay. Fine. Next, paint. Paint is 350 per liters. So 350 into 8.33 I, I have written. Okay. So I'll get 2915 because paint I already have calculated here. No, 8.33 liters is required. So same thing I have taken. Okay. Else you can, you could have done here also. 5 into 4 for this, but not an issue. Okay. Fine. Now this value is in dollars now. 801 divided by 80 I have done. So $10, $5, $44, $36. Now what is the total cost of your uh, plaster? putty and paint. So total will be how much? Add everything. 801, 410, 3570, 2915. So the total will be 7696.92 rupees or let us say $96. So this is a rate per cubic meter. I want rate per square meter. I explained you how to do it for rate per square meter. So what you will do? How you will find anything in rate per square meter? If you want the rate per square meter, whatever area you have, with that you have to multiply this cost. That means this cost, whatever I have. Okay. This cost I'll take now. So the cost is this one. I'll divide this by area. What is the area we have here? So 5 multiply by 4. This is the area, no? Wall area. I'll get the answer in square meters. So it is 384.846 rupees. Or it is 4.81 dollars. So if somebody asks you, tell me the rate of this in square meter, you should tell it will cost you 384 rupees per square meter. If somebody asks you how much it will cost per cubic meter, you should tell 7696 rupees per cubic meter. Now there are some people who will ask you tell me the rate in square feet. So to for square feet what we do whatever answer we got in square meter I'll divide that by 10.76 so it will give me 35.766 rupees per square feet. Okay. If you speak in local language in your area so people are uh, concerned with square feet they tell you uh, so we charge 35 rupees per square feet for uh, plaster putty and uh, this thing paint. Okay. 35 rupees per square feet. So, but when you work in big companies and all, they speak in terms of uh, square meter or let us say cubic meter. Okay. Square meter usually it is. Okay. Got it, no?
So in this way, try to prepare this Excel sheet so that you can do the, uh, you know, costing of this. Okay. Anyhow, other things I've explained you like how to find out the cement sand quantities. I've explained you how to take out the uh, plast this thing that is a paint quantity, then wall putty quantity, uh, uh, paint quantities and all. Great. So with this, uh, most of the things, whatever was required for our calculation, I've explained you. Uh, after this, uh, we, are, we just want to create our uh, um, bill of quantities or let us say abstract sheet and whatever quantities we have got with that will multiply by the rate. We'll get the total cost that is required, right? So up to here, try to practice it. Um, no, so it will take some time for you to understand few concepts. So once you understand, you can take out the rates um, that is required for you. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.